how to create an account with Alibaba step by step so you can find trustworthy suppliers to manufacture your products to sell on Amazon. Are you guys ready? Let's go. All right, guys, welcome to yet another exciting, informative video. If you're new to this channel, well, in this channel, we talk about everything that has to do with making money online, uh, especially e-commerce and selling products on Amazon. So if you're someone that has been looking to get into the game of e-commerce, well, this is your channel. So make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And actually, we have a contest where we give out $100 directly to a person that comments the word Amazon FBA in this video. If we pick us a winner, we'll announce the winner in the following video that I post next week. So be on the lookout for that. All right. That being said, I want to say congratulations to the winner from our last video right here. All right. So if that's you, make sure you look out on the comments, uh, message me on Instagram and I'll send you a hundred dollars directly to your PayPal. Congratulations again. All right, guys, let's get started. This video has been shot by Ronnie. Ronnie is one of our coaches inside our Amazon coaching program. All right. Inside the AMZ Academy coaching program, we actually work with you one on one and we help you launch your first product on Amazon. I'm a true believer on coaching to help people get started with their Amazon business. Um, Amazon does have a lot of moving parts, so I, I highly recommend if you are someone that's looking to get started in this business um, and you're looking uh, for help that you consider us because we launch about 300 products every month. So we kind of know what we're doing. Uh, and again, there's nothing wrong with doing everything by yourself. This channel will help you get started um, and doing things the right way. Um, just make sure that you're cautious on the type of content that you're watching in YouTube because there's a lot of outdated tactics sometimes. So this is why I recommend coaching because Amazon is always moving. There's always improving. So there's different tactics on how you can rank products and product research and so on. So if you would like us to help you, I highly recommend that you go ahead, watch the video below. All right. Uh, I put a link to that video in the description of this video. The video will give you a good understanding on my strategies and how I launch products on Amazon and how Amazon FBA works. After you watch the video, you'll be able to book a call with one of my coaches in that call. We'll talk about your goals with the business, how many products you want to launch, how you want to get started. And we'll talk about how my team and I can personally help you launch and scale your Amazon FBA business. Let's get started. All right, everyone. Hello, it's Rami at the AMC Academy. And today we're going to go over how to create an Alibaba account. So guys, the first thing that you want to do when you're creating an Alibaba account is you're going to want to you're going to want to create a new email. And the reason you want to create a new email is because you don't want anything associated with that actual account. And you want to separate your personal stuff from your business. So I've already went ahead and created a new email. And I just did that with Gmail. Um, I feel like Gmail is the most universally accepted email service, but feel free to use whatever you want. Now, when creating a account on the Alibaba website, I have found that it works best in the Google Chrome browser. So if you don't have a Google Chrome, I highly recommend for you to get that. And then what you're going to do, guys, is you're just going to come up here at the top and you're going to find where it says sign in or join for free. You're going to click join for free. And then what happens is, is you're going to, you know, do whatever it's asking right now. It's asking me just to like detect um, my network. So I'm going to slide this to verify. And we're going to start off with our country or region. So this is going to be where you live. And then it says, please select a trade role. Are you a buyer, a seller, or both? Um, you could you could select both, to be honest, because in our academy, we teach you how to portray yourself as an actual buyer. So we'll have, go ahead and do both because you are going to eventually be a seller as well. And then for your email address, this is where you're going to want to go ahead and put in that new email that you created. So we're going to put that. Um, you're going to go ahead and put whatever, you know, password you like. So it's just going in over all the character limits and counts. Um, your company name, I prefer that you guys put your Amazon seller account, but you can put whatever you want. If you have an LLC, if you already have your EIN or entity, you can put that there. So I'll just go ahead and put in my LLC. And then right here for your full name, you're going to put your full name exactly as it appears. So first and last. And then your telephone number, you're just going to go ahead and you're going to put your phone number. 
You're going to slide to verify. You're going to agree to the terms of service and you're going to register. Um, you're going to go to the email. It sent you a code and you're going to input that code. So we're going to go ahead and um, get it right here. Here is our verification code for this particular setup. And then we're going to submit. Keep in mind, you have a limit with Alibaba on that code. So make sure you're actively doing it. Otherwise, the code does expire. Now, right here, um, it's saying complete your business information. So select your business type so that we can provide you with a more personalized experience. So right here, are you an individual, online retailer, wholesaler, trading company, service provider, manufacturer, or other? So if you're selling on Amazon, go ahead and select other online retailer. For annual purchasing amount, you can you can honestly choose whatever, but like be realistic. I, I think that you know ten thousand to hundred thousand is good, or less than US ten thousand, whichever one. For your address, um, you can put that in there, whatever it may be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a fake one right now. One, two, uh, three, four. Grape Vine Street. For the region, you're going to select wherever you are. So I'm in the United States. Uh, your your state or your country, we're going to go ahead and put California. Um, for the city, I'll go ahead and put Glendale. And then you don't have to put your website. So you can even put in forward slash A because you probably don't have one to say. But if you do have one, go ahead and put that. You're going to click continue. Now right here, right? Choose a verification method. Tax information, do you have a tax exempt? Usually people that have an LLC, EEIN, or a VAT number are tax exempt, so you can provide that tax information. Verify a business email, they can send you your um, confirmation code that way, or you can upload information, a screenshot of your online dashboard. So I'll just do the email verification, because that's what I have now. And then we're gonna come here and we're gonna put that email I used to create the account. I'm going to click get a verification code and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to that email. I'm going to restore and refresh and then let's see here. So as you can see, um, sometimes their, their system won't send you the code. Okay. Or you can't verify it right away. Just to bypass this, because this is an option, if you click what is the buyer's club, it pretty much allows Alibaba to verify your business and make it look more official to the suppliers that you potentially will be working with. So you have like different levels of um, of current statuses right here. So that, that helps the experience with the suppliers and you to be a little bit more proficient. And it also helps you to establish yourself as a business on the Alibaba website. So it looks like for whatever reason, um, and again, it just seems like a glitch that the registration over here, when I verified that email, it didn't work. But all I did, guys, is just went and logged in to Alibaba again, and then it automatically confirmed it like so. So if that does happen to you, that's how you would bypass that. Now let's talk about how we navigate this Alibaba website. So I love Alibaba as the online wholesaler and distributor for e-commerce because it just really puts you in touch with a bunch of different suppliers all over the globe. So primarily these suppliers do work in China, but you do and will see other suppliers from all over the world like Pakistan, Istanbul, and maybe India to name a few. Now, the first thing I want to talk about when reaching out to suppliers on Alibaba is that at the very top of the screen, you have two different tabs. So products tab is really nice because it's just going to show you a bunch of different things on the Alibaba website that you potentially can purchase from suppliers. So you can get like a good grasp of what the starting price is to about where it's going to be. 
I'm going to be honest with you and tell you that these are not 100% accurate, especially when you're first doing your initial research. You actually do have to reach out to the supplier to get their actual figures and numbers. These are just going to be um, formalities for right now and just help at least get that started and that conversation going with the actual supplier. Um, right over here, you can see, as mentioned, you can choose the different supplier countries or regions that you want to work with, which is kind of nice. Now, what I like about Alibaba when finding a supplier is that you have trade assurance, verified supplier, or verified pro supplier. Trade Assurance is a free um, insurance program that Alibaba offers us as customers of the website. So what it does is it allows Alibaba to act as the middleman. So if your supplier is here and you are here, you pay your supplier, but Alibaba stops it right here in the middle and it won't send the funds to the supplier until the supplier has met its obligation to you, the customer. Verified supplier, this is going to be um, an actual supplier getting their warehouse checked out. So they take the time to to have Alibaba come to their warehouse and verify them. And Verified Pro is just a little bit more of an extensive level from that. Um, what we really like to see with our suppliers is, of course, trade assurance, because you want to make sure that all of the goods are being protected and that the supplier does meet its obligation to you. Now, to reach out to a supplier, it's very easy. You could just come here and click contact supplier, or you can click their title, or you can even click where it says supplier right here. All of these different ways are going to bring you to a different part of the Alibaba website. So like right here, this is going to show you, you know, for example, a little bit of a brief overview of the company. So how I got there is I just came here and I clicked where it said supplier from this search page. And then what I like about it is it shows me the overall reviews so I can get a good idea of how satisfied um, previous customers were and how their work is. I like that I can see how many years they've been on the Alibaba website. This really helps me because I don't want to work with suppliers that are new. I want to know that they have an established history with the company and with customers. And then I can also see a bunch of other products that they potentially could offer me. So it's really nice because I can see a bunch of different things. What I like about it also is I can come here and I can click contacts and it gives me a little bit more of a broken down um, version of their contact information. So I can exchange my business card or I can even, you know, email them directly when I get their business details back to myself. So that's nice because this allows a live conversation with a supplier or even possibly a phone call, which is kind of, you know, a lot more enjoyable for some, you know, people starting their Amazon e-commerce journey. Now, to, to start contacting the supplier, you can just click contact supplier like so. And then here's your detailed requirements. I really prefer everyone to have a pre-written template of some sort on their actual, um, you know, computer that they've taken the time to really write out and just give a brief overview of what it is that you're looking for. So for example, you want to start off with some kind of introduction. Like you want to say something like, hello, my name is Roddy. And then from there, you just want to let the supplier know what it is that you're looking to make. So for example, if I come here and I know that I'm going to be selling on Amazon, or maybe I found my product on a different platform, I want to go to that platform and I want to look for a product that I potentially want to sell after, of course, running my numbers. And I want to get that link. When I get that link, it's going to allow the supplier to actually look at this and show me exactly what it is that I'm looking to purchase. So then you want to come down here and you, you want to ask them what their MOQs are because you want to be able to speak in the language of the suppliers. So you want to start off with something like, what is the MOQ? for the above inquiry, for example. And then last but not least, guys, what I love to do is I love to ask the supplier and let them know about any differentiation that I might have. So for example, you know, 
you would come here and let's say that you want to stand out from your competitors. So let's say you want to add an additional item. Well, guess what? I'm getting a t-shirt ruler from that supplier, but I'm now asking him to make me a heat resistant tape. So I paste that link right there as well. And the thing is, is with this, you are making sure that your supplier A can even get this, this bundle item, because if the supplier cannot manufacture or get this for you, then you know you have to get a second supplier. We like to keep everything with the same supplier. It just makes your, your transaction and the whole timeline and sequence of things really smooth and effortless. So I would probably send something like this to my supplier. And after doing so, you do want to note that it does take time for that supplier to respond back. So remember, you're in different time zones and they might not be able to get back to you right away. So you just want to be patient with that because you want to be sure that um, you're getting the correct inquiries and that they're actually getting back to you in a timely manner. Because communication is everything when finding your very first supplier. Right here, you can uncheck agree to share a business card and then you don't have to do the RFQ. It's not worth it because you want to have a live conversation and negotiate. Once you send that inquiry, you're going to be able to um, wait. And again, they're going to message you back. So to see your, your messages, if you come back to Alibaba and you just click this message center right here, um, you're going to be able to see that message that you just sent. So it'll be something like this. And as you can see, it hasn't officially been read or replied to yet but um, they're hopefully gonna be able to get back to that very quickly. You guys, these are just a few of the things that we teach and go into depth about in our academy, but it's things like this that have made ourselves and our students super successful. I really hope you enjoyed this video this week and we'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know there was a lot of awesome information on there. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed, uh, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. Um, and for a chance to enter into our contest where we give you $100, all you have to do is simply comment the word Amazon FBA below. If we pick you as a winner, we'll send you $100, all right? And if you're someone that needs help and you're brand new to this business and you're confused on to where to start, you don't know which path to take, highly recommend for you to watch the training video that I've created for you. I've just created it, so make sure you click on that link watch the video after you watch the video you'll be able to book a call with us the, the call is completely for free um you know we'll answer any questions that you have with this business we'll talk about your goals with the business and how you too can get started on creating a business that earns you money every single day it's passive a business that earns you money while you sleep uh create that second source of income or simply work for yourself selling products on amazon i'll see you guys on the next